Hello and welcome to Elliot's British Life. I'm doing a live chat and just before I went on air, my fan broke. The little little bit came off my fan, so I can't do a fan flap. I'm going to have to just kind of do that. Um, hello and welcome to my live chat. So today um, we're going to be having a little bit of fun, just a little bit of frivolity because I've ordered some new underwear and I'm going to be opening them, doing a, a live kind of unboxing about them. So, without further ado, let's go and find the channel. Um, chat room. Where, where is it? Where's my chat room gone? Um, ah, here I am. There we go. Right, I'm opening it up and putting it on live chat so that I can see you all. Hello, hello, hello. I do hope that you are all getting notifications. So, this is the package that came. I ordered some new pairs of underwear, but I want to talk briefly uh, briefly. Do you get the joke? Briefly? Underwear? Pants? Haha. -ha. Um, no. Um, no pun intended. So I want to talk briefly about why I have ordered this particular lot of underwear. So um, those of you who watch my weekly vlogs may have known that I usually get my underwear Calvin Klein from a particular website called Bang and Strike here in the UK. Now they previously sold a whole range of different underwear Calvin Klein or different different designers. They, sim they have redesigned their website and have come out with their own range. So they have stopped selling different brands and they now only sell their own brand. So I wanted to know what they were like. Obviously, I'm not going to try them on here, but I will go away and try them and then come back and give you another video with a full review on what they're like. But I ordered some and I want to see what, what they're like. So they are kind of different to what I might normally um, choose in terms of the colours but one of the criticisms I had about the previous site was that they were they had very garish colours very garish designs I like something a bit more plain a bit more simple so this is what they've done they've actually come out with something more plain and simple so they come in little bags like this now I would say um, it has the Bang & Strike logo on and the underwear inside, inside these kind of polythene type bags, plastic bags. Now I would like to say, I don't really think they should be packaging them in plastic bags. We all know about the war on plastic and actually because the brand is a lot more simple, because they're plain styles, I think they should go down the more kind of hipster route with it all and perhaps in time they could this is just a suggestion bang and strike if you are if you are watching my suggestion would be to swap out the plastic bag and maybe put a nice kind of brown paper bag which i think would suit the style of the underwear quite nicely because they are kind of old fashioned style so i think a nice kind of you know a, a paper bag this kind of color i think would actually be quite nice with a nice with the nice branding on. So I would suggest switching out these plastic bags for paper. Um, I mean, it doesn't say if they are, um, they might be recyclable. It's got the little triangle on there. Does that mean recyclable? Maybe. So that could be, that could be, they could be recyclable, but even so, I think maybe paper might be the thing. So I've ordered quite a few pairs. These are all the pairs I've ordered. So I'm gonna kind of go through them. Uh, I've ordered one. Two, three, four pairs. So um, I will also tell you the prices of them. Um, I think they're all about the same. Yes, uh, three of them were £22 and one of them was £24. So I'll start with the, um, I'll start with the one, the most expensive one, which was the Micro Modal Fly Brief in Desert in Large. Now, uh, I think it's this one. Yes, it's this one. So, like I say, I've gone with things that I wouldn't normally. So I've kind of chosen colours uh, from their colour palette, which I wouldn't normally have. So, you, you always sniff. Who likes to sniff? By the way, I've ordered these in size large, for those who are wondering. So, um, these are, they are briefs. I'll be brief about the briefs. Um, they're, they're kind of, it's called Desert which, I don't know, might come across a bit brown on camera. Um, I don't have anything in this colour uh, previously, but they are so soft. I mean, I quite like the nice kind of branding on the belt. 
uh, which I think is quite nice. Uh, they do kind of have the little, no, they, oh, is it a faux fly? Oh, no, it's a real fly. Look, it's a real fly. So you can kind of, you know, easy access when you, when you might want to. Um, the pouch looks, you know, a decent, a decent enough pouch. They feel so soft. The material is really, really soft. I mean, you can, they just, they do feel lovely. Um, does it say what material they are? Um, it's a modal fly. Um, okay. It, it is 92% micro modal and 8% uh, elastane. Wash at 40. Uh, no iron, no tumble dry. And made in China for bang and strike. So, um, those are the details on those. So, I am looking forward to trying those out. Let's see what people are saying. Uh, people are saying yes, paper and... Sharona says the triangle symbol does mean recyclable. Yes, but I still think we should be moving away from plastic. My local supermarket has taken off the little plastic caps that fit on pots, like yogurts and things. So I do think I would like to see perhaps, you know, these plastics. I think they could do paper. I think paper would fit in really well with the brand. By the way, I will uh, pop the link to the website in the description below. Now these ones, what are these? Mod these are a modal slip. So those are the full brief, these are a slip. Let's have a look at these. Um, okay, so it's the same color, it's that kind of desert color. Like I say, I don't normally have anything in this color. Um, these look a lot more, more kind of stripped back. They don't have the, the easy access uh, fly, um, but you know, they just, they, they still, they feel so soft. They really do feel soft. Let me know what you think about the colour. I'm not entirely convinced because it's kind of like it's not white, it's not black. Usually I go for black or navy. Um, let me know what you think about the colour. It's desert. It's described as desert. Kind of nude. I mean, it's kind of more like a nude colour. And I know, is it um, Kim Kardashian has come out with her body shape line? And her body shape line is that kind of colour. So there we go. I'm on, I'm on trend. I'm like Kim Kardashian, will I break the internet? Okay, so these are, these are a sports brief. So of course I got all different ones because if there's one style that I particularly like, I may keep them. Um, I'm, or I might buy more of them rather. I mean, I'm definitely gonna keep these, but I might buy more of the same. So these are a sports brief and they kind of have like a little mesh. Can you see the little kind of breathable? They were described as being breathable. So they have these little breathable holes. I do believe it's kind of like twin ply material inside. Um, there we go. So this is what I'm a little bit more comfortable with in the black. I'm a lot more comfortable with the black. Um, and again, it's just so soft. I don't know. This material is just, is it the same? Uh, this is 92%, 92% polyamide, polyamide and 8% elastane. Um, there you go. So it's slightly different. But um, just so soft. Let me know what you what is your favourites um, so far. So I'm putting them back in the bags just for protection. Um, and we have one more to go. And again, this is a different colour that I don't normally wear. It is a kind of I think it's described as forest, like a forest green. Uh, no, alloy. Colour is alloy. That was it. It's a sports brief. And the material for this one is. 92% uh, polyamide and 8% elastane. Very soft. So again, um, you know, it has that kind of sculpted pouch which gives you support and it has that kind of breathable fabric again on there. Um, so ladies, if you're, if you're watching, you know what it's like to have support, you know, on the, on the chesticles area. Um, men are the same, you know, men well, most men, I think, you know, like a bit of support. And, you know, a bit like underwiring on a bra, on a brassiere, um, you know, men can have little bits of stitching around the pouch, which give you that support, that level of support. So these, I think, definitely have that support. And I think, should I just model them? I think they'll be quite nice, you know. Um, so I can't wait to try them on and give them a proper review. So what I will probably do Having shown you them here now in this video, I will probably update you on how they feel um, on in my weekly vlog. So I'll probably update you in the weekly 
vlog when it comes to that. So I'm going to put them all back in. Like I said, the total for these four pair came to £90, um, including the VAT, which is a value added tax applied here in the UK. And that was for four pairs. And of course, in the weekly vlog, I will give you my full review, how they feel, um, which one's my favourite, will I be ordering more of them. Um, and hey, bang and strike, if you are looking and you wish to, um, you know, send me some more things to try, I will gladly do so. Let's see what people are saying. Vivian says the colour is nice, different, please keep it. I mean, like I say, it's, um, these aren't, apart from the black, the, these are not colours I would typically use. Like I say, the kind of nudish coloured ones, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what I think about those. Um, Elderly Phil says, living with three males in the family, I have heard all about the comfort in detail. I quite like, you know, a brief with a pouch that's supportive because I find that if you have something where everything is just kind of loose, um, it kind of, just, it goes everywhere. It's not good, people. Um, it's, it's, I find it quite nice to have everything contained and supported well supported um, I, and I know different countries have favoured different styles or cuts some people like boxer shorts trunks um, really really loose things which are you know you may as well not wear anything at all let me know your favourite style of underwear even if you're a lady you know what do you prefer Kelly Douglas says sorry I'm late uh, we're talking about under we are talking about underwear georgia sunshine says those look great do they carry boxes yes they do and um you know i would like to try them i would like to try the entire range but hey okay, it costs money i bought these with my own money i'm not sponsored um these i bought with my own money because i wanted i wanted to try the new rebrand of the website um just to see if there's just to see if the how these compare to my favorite calvin klein ones so we'll see. We'll see how they go. I will update you all in the weekly vlog um, because obviously I'll be wearing one pair a day so I can update you in the weekly vlog every day, if you see what I mean. So it makes sense to update it, I think, in the weekly vlog. Um, PJR says, Lord have mercy, underwear, indeed. Well, I've, I've already showed them, so um, I'm not going to kind of get them all out again. Or maybe I will. For those of you who have just joined, because it is a live chat, we have... Um, some underwear here and like I say these are not colours I would normally have um, I could have gone for safe colours but I decided against against safe colours I wanted to try something a little bit different apart from this pair which I did have in black because they didn't have any other colours that I could kind of choose from so I am going to go in a moment and um, I might try one on I don't know or maybe I might sleep in one um, I really don't, I mean, these are kind of like old fashioned, what we would call grandad pants. These are, these are a bit like a male version of the granny pants. You know, when Bridget Jones had the big knickers. Um, these are a bit like the male version of that with the kind of Y fronts with the, you know, peekaboo easy access. Functional, they're functional. Um, Palm Lucian says, I like 109% cotton. <laughs> well, th this material is very soft. Um, and breathable, it seems very... Budgie smugglers, yes, they are indeed. Um, I will put the link. Um, once I go off and update the video, I will put the link to the website in the description. I think they do international shipping. So if you are from overseas, I think they can accommodate. Vivian says, can you model them? No! <laughs> you are not seeing me in my pants. Um, but I will tell you, I will describe in the weekly vlog. Uh, Jackie J is laughing at granny pants. Yes, these are the male version of the granny pants. Have I got the right ones? Yes. The male version of grandad pants. Gramps pants. Um, Patron says, I have to hand it to you. You do, you do it all. Now a video from Windsor. Oh, what about modelling pants at Windsor? I don't know. Um, LD Poon says, model is great. Modal is a great breathable fabric. It is indeed. Um, Beverly says, we've gone from Brexit to Breeze. I like that title, from Brexit to Breeze. Uh, I was watching the other chat replay when this popped up. It was quite jarring. <laughs> Hello to Yvette Renee. Uh, welcome. Yes, tighty whities 
Uh, Yvette Rene, I've been, if you've just joined, I've been kind of showing off my new pants, which I've had from um, a company called Bang & Strike, which have just redesigned their entire website and they now carry their own line solely. They've got rid of every other brand that they used to carry and it is now just their own brand. So I'm trying them out. I've bought them with my own money. They are colours and at least one style which I don't normally wear. So um, I will be updating you all in the weekly vlog how that goes. Uh, H. London says, mm, modeling, no modelling at Windsor. They will have haul you off to the tower. They will indeed. I'm sure they will. OK, that's all for today. Um, but I do have another video I want to make where I am going to model them because I also bought some new T-shirts. So I will update, I will film it tomorrow, I think, and then update it whenever I've got it edited. So it won't be a live chat, but I thought it'd be fun to do the underwear as a live chat. But I will most definitely be doing um, a T-shirt haul, uh, which again, I bought with my own money, uh, but I did have a really good deal. So I'll be discussing my really good deal. Um, and I think that deal may even still be on. Um, Lisa says, I just turned in. How are you? Hope all, all is well. <laughs> it's pants. Today is pants. From Brexit to briefs, indeed. <gasps> okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed this video and you don't think it's pants, please give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also do hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video video and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. So from me, in Shropshire, to you all and goodbye.